This is a video overview of WordStream, a keyword management solution for SEO and PPC. WordStream allows you to build a strong foundation for both paid and organic search engine marketing, creating a search-friendly infrastructure that will deliver continuous value in a number of ways. First, you get keywords into the WordStream system via a variety of different methods, including using WordStream's keyword suggestion tool, loading keywords from a text file, copy-pasting them into a text block, or establishing a stream from either your existing Google Analytics account or by using WordStream's custom search-focused analytics package, which requires only a snippet of JavaScript on your website. For this account, we've uploaded over 10,000 keywords related to the word tires. We can now segment this keyword database quickly and effectively using WordStream's keyword grouping technology. As you can see, WordStream has suggested the keyword Bridgestone as a possible segmentation. The reason WordStream selected this is because a large number of keywords have driven a significant amount of traffic for keywords that contain the word Bridgestone. If we had WordStream's JavaScript installed on our site or we were connected to our Google Analytics, we could also use our existing our historical conversion data to generate these keyword suggestions. By clicking Expand Segmentation, we can drill down deeper than Bridgestone into more granular keyword segmentations, adding a keyword modifier such as Keyword Bridgestone Prices, Bridgestone Discount, or Bridgestone Compare. By clicking Create, WordStream will now automatically generate a keyword group around Bridgestone and all of the subgroups that we've created. Once we click OK, we'll see this keyword tree in action. As you can see, the entire Bridgestone segmentation still contains Bridgestone and variations. But the more specific segmentations that we created contain Bridgestone and the additional modifier, in this instance, Compare. This is very powerful for both SEO and PPC. In SEO, we can write a much more specific page for something like Bridgestone Compare than we could for Bridgestone. And each of these different modifiers reveals a different layer of intent from the searcher. For instance, somebody looking for Bridgestone Compare probably wants more of a review or a comparison of Bridgestone to another tire. Somebody who's looking for Bridgestone Discount probably wants some sort of a coupon. Somebody who's looking for Bridgestone Prices is probably at the stage where they just want to see different types of tires and the prices associated with them. By creating these more granular segmentations, we can write specific copy that speaks to the searcher's intent. The same holds true for PPC. We can create these very, very specific ad groups and then match ad text messaging and even landing pages to these specific queries. This will help both our click-through rate and our conversion rate. Raising our quality score, lowering our cost per click, and increasing our conversion percentage. Additionally, this tree structure is very powerful for both SEO and paid search. For organic search, we're telling the search engine that not only do we have a page about Bridgestone, which will function as our category or index page, but we also have more specific branches off of the Bridgestone root. This tells the search engine that we have a very, very specific theme or keyword silo. It allows Google and other search engines to return all of these specific variations with more confidence because we've taken the time to create a number of pages around this theme. So the odds are these pages and our site in general are a very, very good resource for things like Bridgestone prices, Bridgestone discounts, or Bridgestone comparisons. Another SEO benefit of WordStream is that it allows you to prioritize your workflow based on the keyword segmentations that have driven the most traffic or actions on your site and that you haven't yet authored a page for. For instance, as we can see below, we haven't actually authored pages for any of these keyword groups. The tool is suggesting we start with Bridgestone because it's the most popular. Once we've authored a landing page, we can enter that landing page into the tool, and the tool will record it. For four pages, this doesn't seem particularly useful, but let's toggle over to a mature account, our WordStream account. 
Here, you can see that we've created thousands of groups. By picking a popular keyword vertical within WordStream, we can look at the Workflow tab to quickly identify <coughs> keyword segmentations for which we haven't created a landing page yet. As you can see, we're doing pretty well and have to drill down a bit. But, we haven't created a page yet for AdWords bid, despite the fact that there are several keywords within the group and it's driving a fair amount of traffic. That might be a good place to start if we're creating content. Imagine having multiple content authors working on the same account. It's a very handy resource to have them all be able to log in to one centralized keyword database and see what the other authors have completed and what they haven't. One of the most powerful features of WordStream is not only creating this initial information architecture or paid search campaign structure, but then being able to integrate new data seamlessly, quickly, and effectively into this campaign. For instance, take a look at this Bridgestone campaign. We started with around 348 keywords from our keyword suggestion tool. But what happens when people start to reach our site for different queries that we hadn't thought of, with, or that the WordStream keyword suggestion tool hadn't entered in? This is where WordStream really starts to add recurring value. As you can see, the software will highlight the groups with new keywords. You can then drill down to take a look at each of these new keywords that have come into your account. From there, you can take those keywords and either accept them or reject them. As good examples of keywords that you would want to target for SEO or bid on for paid search, or as bad examples of keywords that you would want to actually create a negative for. Additionally, WordStream offers negative keyword tools. For paid for paid, primarily for paid search, but also to make sure that your keyword list is clean and you're targeting precisely the right queries in natural search. The negative keyword tool works similarly to the keyword suggestion tool, floating up possible negative keyword suggestions. From here, you'll tell the tool which keyword segmentations are good and which are bad. Once you've identified a few good negative keyword candidates, WordStream starts to learn about the nature of your keyword database and makes highly intelligent negative keyword suggestions. This allows you to log into the tool, toggle over to the negatives keyword tab, and immediately be shown the worst offenders within your WordStream account, the keywords that are the least relevant and are driving the most traffic. This can save you thousands of dollars a month in paid search waste. Finally, WordStream allows you to drill down not only to new keywords that you have or haven't reviewed, but also by keyword source. This is a powerful feature because it allows you to take a look at organic search traffic, paid search traffic, and even keyword tool estimates side by side by side. The reason this is valuable is because there may be things within your organic search marketing efforts that you could be leveraging within paid search, or vice versa. For instance, you might launch a paid search campaign and get some immediate feedback that tells you that a particular query is very, very popular and converts well for you on your site. Now's a good time to start to build out a page or maybe even a collection of pages for that keyword. Conversely, you may know that a specific query performs really well for you in SEO, and you may be able to quickly identify that you don't have that keyword within your paid search campaign by looking at your traffic data. This is a good opportunity to either raise bids on that keyword or maybe even introduce it into your paid search campaign. And finally, if you're not receiving a tremendous amount of traffic for organic and paid search for a particular keyword, but your keyword tool estimates have shown you that there is a lot of traffic available for that particular query, it may make sense to build out some content for SEO or to start to bid more aggressively in PPC. There you have it. Now, every time we publish a new page, we'll be able to fit it into this search-friendly information architecture. And every time we create a new ad group, we'll be able to place that within our well-structured PPC campaigns, allowing us to be more likely to rank for profit-driving keywords, as well as producing better PPC ROI through higher quality scores, lower cost per clicks, and improved conversion rates. By taking a few minutes to plot out this more search-friendly information architecture and these well-crafted paid search campaigns, we've effectively enhanced the value of every single piece of content we'll ever create and every single paid search visit that we drive to our site, offering more and better qualified traffic and a higher number of leads and sales, all for less from both paid and organic search.